Hey guys, this is Daniel. Um, so, as promised, we're going to do a little bit of testing today. Um, today I'm going to do a little bit of a shootout with the Verna and the HDS and the HDS with the 16 Joule upgrade. Uh, so, when I see people doing a lot of these videos using the Kerno and stuff, I don't really agree with how a lot of people does it, so I'm going to do it my way. Um, if you're firing the first three shots of, uh, out of the cylinder of one specific kind of ammo, then you're switching off to the next kind of ammo after, you know, those three shots, da, 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 uh, you're progressively getting weaker in your cylinder as you go. So anyway, so we're going to do a little bit different, uh, something else we're going to do a touch differently. Um, I'm actually going to check the temperature on the, uh, cylinders. To make sure you know we're all the same we've got 80.4 i'm sorry 84.9 84.9 and 84.9 so all three of those which they've been sitting beside each other for a good while i figured they'd be exactly the same but anyway uh with them sitting out here beside each other um so everything is going to be fresh shot and it's going to be compared uh one to one to one so anyway, uh, first things first, and these are uh, both Crossman, man, I don't hate, uh, both Crossman CO2 cartridges. Uh, this one is the regular HDS, and this is the HDS with the 16 Joule upgrade. put the cap on before I screw it in that would make sense huh? um, and I'm sorry I don't know if the focus is good or not probably not but um, anyway so there's uh, all three with brand new cylinders um, so everything is gonna be punctured right now the burner on safe so there the burner is punctured In it. Okay, punctured. These have the little indicators that uh, little indicators that come up, and uh, on the 16 jewel version, this is silver again. Horrible with focus, but anyway, there you go. It's up anyway. Okay. All right, so. And I'll put the uh, I'll put the names and all the uh, places you can get this stuff uh, in the description. But most of this is just uh, simple. Uh, number one, I'm going to do the 68 caliber rubber steel balls. So what we're going to do here is. That fresh cylinder, we're going to compare them two shots of each with the rubber steel balls. That's going to be a problem for that one. and two balls in there. Okay, so rubber steel balls. First shot with the burner. 162 feet per second. 180 feet per second. Okay, now we're gonna go exact same ammo with the HDS without the mod. Oh, we got an error on that one. Sounded like it didn't even have enough uh, but to hardly make it down there. Ok. 
Okay, here we go again with this. 149. Okay. Now, the 16 joule upgraded version. And we got another error. That's fantastic. Two hundred and forty seven. Okay, I'm going to try one more shot with this one since it had the error message. Two forty five. This one this is the non upgraded 150 massive difference. 100 feet per second difference between the 16 joule version and the uh, regular one. Okay. Next up, we're actually going to try the Burna projectiles, the Burna HD kinetic projectiles. So, this is what's designed to be shot in the Burna. Same deal, two shots each ammo. Okay, 273, 271. Obviously, all this is uh, going to be breaking down into jewels and putting the comments because really you're not knowing whole lot about anything until that happens so um, this is going to be the non-upgraded version 253 248 okay this is the Upgraded 16 joules version. Good lord. Missed the target. I think I took out half of the uh, half of the bank, the field, and everything else. No, it was actually moving really fast. Uh, 373. Wow, that's actually decently impressive. Let's try the other barrel. 362. Okay. So we're going to try some of these yellow riot balls. And I'll also put the weight of everything up there as well. So two of these in the burn. Slide this apron one. 251, 264. Standard HDS, 228, 229. And the 16 joule upgraded version. That I did not load yet. Sorry, getting in a hurry here. 339. Three 
351. All right. You know what? Now we're going to go back. Now that these have had a little bit of gas used in them, I'm going to go back to the steel rubber ball. This time I'm going to start with the 16 joule. 242 236 Two shots Burner. 169, 174. First, the, uh, the burn is gas. Uh, the burn adder uses a uh, smaller cylinder than the other one, so it's going to be it's going to be wearing out a little quicker. This is the uh, steel balls on the non-upgraded version. 161. 152 didn't quite make it to the base. 150. Okay. All right. Well, like I say, we're going to have some jewel numbers up there and everything, but uh, comparing apples to apples, uh, we're getting considerably better numbers out of the 16 joule or upgraded HDS shotgun. This puppy is uh, hitting considerably harder than the burner, um, even using burner's ammo. Uh, not knocking the burner, I love the burner. Burner's got, uh, you know, what, uh, four to five more shots depending on how you load it. Uh, Definitely a, a smaller package, easier to carry. Um, potentially not as intimidating looking, but uh, anyway. Um, so that's it for now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely got a whole lot more, very much more interesting stuff coming. Uh, this is just to hopefully wet some people's whistle. Just kind of want to get some base numbers on a couple of these things before we start getting crazy. But uh, anyway, stay tuned.